Hi, I'm Gaurav Patwardhan. I'm a senior design engineer at Analog Devices. In this demo, I will demonstrate single pair power over Ethernet, SPOE, by ADI. It is also known as power over data lines, or Poodle. In this demo, we showcase two end-to-end -end power over data line systems with the world's first IEEE 802.3BU compliant 5-port power sourcing equipment controller that is PSE and power device controller that is PD from analog devices. At the PSE side, we have a PSE motherboard featuring the LTC4296, a 5-port Poodle PSE controller. Two of the five ports are brought out to shield headers. Various mid-span and media converter shields at different Ethernet data speeds may be inserted onto the motherboard. At port 0 of the PSC motherboard is a 100 base T1 media converter shield. Traditional 4 pair 100 base T Ethernet is converted to single pair 100 base T1 Ethernet. The power from the PSC port 0 it's coupled with the data using a robust galvanically isolated power coupling network. Power and data are sent on a 15 meter unshielded single twisted pair ethernet cable. On the PD end of the cable is the LTC4297 PD motherboard with a similar 100 base T1 media converter shield. The single pair 100 base T1 data is converted back to traditional 4 pair 100 base T Ethernet data. Power extracted from the data lines goes to a DC DC converter, which in turn powers an infotainment system comprised of a Raspberry Pi, an LCD screen, and a pair of speakers. This system draws a maximum of 19 watts. On port 1 of the PSC motherboard, is a 1000 base T1 mid span shield. A 1000 base T to 1000 base T1 external media converter is connected to this shield. The power coupling network on the shield translates the balanced signal to an unbalanced signal for coaxial transmission and couples the power from the PSC port 1. A 15 meter coax cable carrying power and data is connected between the PAC and the PD. At the PD end is another LTC4297 PD motherboard with a similar 1000 base T1 mid-span shield used on the PAC motherboard. The 1000 base T1 data is connected to the external 1000 base T1 to 1000 base T media converter. Power extracted from the data lines goes to a DC DC converter, which in turn powers a Raspberry Pi, an LCD screen, and the external media converter. This system draws a maximum of 19 watts. The graphical user interface shows the power telemetry presented by the PSC to the host microcontroller. We see that two of the connected ports are powered on while the other three ports are idle. Let's see the system operation when one of the ports is disconnected. While both the ports are powered on, if port 0 is disconnected, the PSC detects the absence of a maintain full voltage signature that is MFVS and removes the power on the cable. The power telemetry indicates the output voltage on port 0 has dropped to a standby voltage of 3.3 volts as defined by the IEEE 802.3BU. The type of fault event on the port is also reported to the microcontroller. The entire time, all the other ports are unaffected and port 1 continues to receive full power. Once the port 0 cable is reconnected, the PSC detects a valid detection signature provided by the IEEE compliant PD controller on the other end. Within 6 milliseconds after reconnection, 
the PAC starts providing a full operating voltage to port 0. Port 1 is unaffected while port 0 is powering on. Similarly, if there is a fault on a port due to an overload condition, the PAC detects the fault and quickly removes the power on that port. The type of fault is reported to the microcontroller and power is reapplied to the port when the fault goes away. The fault is isolated to the port and all the other ports remain unaffected. Compared to existing two-wire solutions, ADI SPOE offers a standardized interoperable power delivery mechanism with dramatic improvements in robustness, reliability, along with port-to-port -port fault isolation and telemetry. Thank you for watching the video. For more information on single-pair power over Ethernet, please visit analog.com.